Hey guys, earlier this week I took to social media and I asked you guys to ask me some questions that you guys wanted to know from either a musician perspective, a funny perspective, or just something you want to get to know me with. So, this is the list of some of my favorites that I got. It's from Facebook, Twitter, and Instagram. The first one is going to be from at MeganWill21. She asked, if you weren't singing or playing music, what would you be doing? And in all honesty, uh, before this I was going to college biomedicine major. I was going to do something either in cancer research or just try and be a doctor. And besides that, I dropped out because fucking college is so lame to me. I hope we can bleep this out. What is your favorite color? And my favorite color has to probably be, probably be baby blue. Will you ever be doing dance pop again? Right now, doing dance pop is definitely out of the question for me, primarily. I still like to play it. Uh, it's released my cover of Stacy's Mom, which is pretty dance pop. You can actually check it out in the links below. Right now, I just feel like I should be writing and playing music on my guitar and real instruments, something that's real and hits home. This question that I got here has to be one of the weirdest fucking questions I've ever gotten, but it's also my favorite. If you were in a room full of gummy bears and the only way out was to eat your way through, would you blame Donald Trump for One Direction's breakup? <laughs> and the answer is yes, because Donald Trump is the root of all evil. <laughs> Small Town Hero 94 asks, what is my writing and recording process usually like? It actually differs. Some of you know and some of you don't. I'm actually, uh, I'm pursuing a something called a publishing deal where I hope to one day get signed kind of like a record label but I pretty much write songs for other people. Just I've been doing a lot of classes and a lot of seminars and workshops on how to properly write songs and so writing songs uh, kind of starts differently for me. I either start with a guitar lick, a piano thing, I get songs sent to me, instrumentals, and sometimes get ideas in my head of guitars or anything like that and so I mean, I don't know if you can see, but all this, these are all potential new songs. Just on this phone alone, I have a lot more on my old one. And the recording process usually is, it's different every time, because I don't like to make the same song twice. Can you fit, can I fit my whole fist in my mouth? I've never tried, and I don't know if I can actually fit my whole fist in my mouth. I talk a lot, so my mouth probably can fit a lot. Actually, that's a really bad joke. Mad Gert? asked what is my favorite fruit and it's a, it's probably pineapple 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 is my favorite if i could tour with one artist or band who would it be uh, actually i have three options that i would love to tour with that are kind of tied one would be mariana trench a pop rock band from canada one direction and keith urban would probably be my top three as of right now or dan and shay either way Star Trek or Star Wars? Hands down Star Wars. Definitely Star Wars. Did I ever go through the emo or scene phase? Yes. Hopefully, right here, Ian will be able to put one of my old pictures of my scene phase. It is ridiculous. What would be my porn star name? Some of y'all need to find Jesus when you're asking these questions, but my porn star name would probably be... Daddy Long Dick. That would be okay. Daddy Long Dick. Fuck it. Do you have any tattoos or do you plan on getting them? I don't have any tattoos. I've always wanted to get them, but I feel like you'd, it would have to mean something. It would have to be the right time, right place. Uh, just for a lot of like personal things. And But I love them. I think they look sick on everybody. Both my brothers have shit tons of tattoos. I just don't. Do, do you think Zac Efron is real, really nice in real life, or does he just walk around with his abs out telling people to go fetch him vegetables? Yes. At Haley Yeager asked, if you could be any kitchen utensil, what would you be and why? I would probably be a whisk, so I could like make the sweets and all that, and people could lick me. That would probably be where I go. What Pokemon would you be? Blastoise, hands down, he'll wreck everyone's shit, period. Because if you teach your Blastoise to surf, hydro pump, ice beam, and earthquake, he will fuck up everybody. Goodbye electric type, goodbye grass type, goodbye fire type, goodbye everybody. End game, Blastoise is the best, hands down. If you don't agree with me, you're wrong. Uh, what is your Snapchat? All my social media is at jputtymusic, and you can probably fit it like right here. I don't know if Ian can do it, 
but we're gonna put it like right here in between my hands. Uh, it's at jputty music except my Snapchat. It's just jputty. Um, I usually try and add it every morning and talk all the time. What is your favorite album of all time? My all-time favorite album would probably have to be John Mayer's Room for Squares because that's the one that got me into playing music in the first place. I just remember listening to that in the car and being like, I wonder if I can do something like that. Favorite part about doing shows? My favorite part about playing and doing shows probably has to be that 30 minutes to an hour I get to play on stage where I just get to let everything hang loose. I need to be as transparent as possible and I just really get to do what I love, which is just play music. I, I feel like when I'm playing some of the songs I write, it is, it is an extension of myself. It is a complete and utter, this is who I am, this is what I do, this is a story from my life that happened, whether it be funny, happy, sad, or angry. Um, I, don't, I don't claim to be the best musician, I don't claim to be a great singer, I don't claim to be anything like that. I just try and write the best songs that I can for myself and hope that someone somewhere likes it enough that they want to come see me play or talk to me or something like that. That's just really what I like to do. All right, thanks everybody for your questions and all that. I'm really excited. I'm trying to get this YouTube to go keep going up and going. Uh, please drop a like, subscribe, tell your friends, carry your pigeon, anything like that. I'm gonna be bringing videos like this and covers and new music to you weekly, every single Monday. Uh, I can't wait for it to get off the ground. I can't wait to go back on tour. I can't wait to put out a new record. I have so much going on right now musically. I have so much going on with Ian musically. And we definitely will have a lot of new material, a lot of new merch, a lot of new everything. It's going to be a big year for us, uh, for all of us. And thanks so much for, you know, supporting me, for supporting what I do. I can't do anything without this. Thank you guys, I'll see you next Monday.